video for the season 3 premiere for Supergirl. I did reaction videos for half, like, some episodes of season 1, the entire season 2, and I'm back to do the entire season 3 of Supergirl. Uh, I am not, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm not as excited as I should be for Supergirl and for Sambers, knowing the spoilers, knowing especially, don't worry, I'm not gonna talk about the spoilers right now, maybe at the end of the video, but I know, we all know that Florian is going, so she's she's not going to be, she's not a serious regular, which, which means that they are putting an end to Sambers, sadly, and after that, I don't know what's going to happen to Alex, how Alex's love life is going to be handled. I hate the fact that they are breaking them up, but I think I think it's needed. I didn't for no reason wanted a long distance relationship. I was afraid that they were going to do that, that Alex was still going to be with Maggie and we were only going to hear um, her just say, oh yes, Ma Maggie's okay, and we were going to hear her name but never see her, so I was afraid b about that. I don't want that. I and the fact that they are breaking up, eventually, I'm guessing, uh, it, a lot, it gives a new storyline for Alex, you know, so yeah, it's not, I'm not happy about it, but I, if I have to choose between one or the other, I will choose to... to have Floriana for the entire season, but I understand that she's not for whatever reason it is. Uh, so I don't know. I I just I think that I will choose, you know, her and and Alex breaking up. As hard as that's going to be, because you guys know I'm a huge Sam uh, shipper. But in terms of the storyline, I think it will be better for Alex to have a different storyline with a new love interest, possibly. I don't know. It sounds so fucking weird that I'm saying that, but it's just that I don't want a long distance relationship with a non-existent actress who is leaving the show. So I think that ultimately this is going to be better. Also, I heard the reasons why they're breaking up and I think it allows Maggie to possibly return in season four, you know? Uh, because it it's it's important reason, but it's not a reason that it that uh, it's not going to change. It's not like Maggie is going to cheat on Alex. That's not how it's going to work. But the problem that they are giving them, I think it allows Maggie to go away. And if Floriana returns in the in season four, they can work things out with that problem that they have. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, so gotta enjoy episode uh, three. I haven't watched. I know that there are sneak peeks. Uh, out there. I haven't watched them. I've been very busy. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna react to the episode. I hope that you guys enjoy and continue watching this entire uh, season with me. If you guys want, uh, you can give it a like. <laughs> that was really dramatic. Give it a like, subscribe to see more reaction videos because I do reaction videos for a lot of shows. Uh, and like I said, we'll continue with um, Supergirl. I'm trying to get caught up with Legends of Tomorrow on Ref. I might do reactions on that this week. Maybe, I don't know how much time I will have. Like today, I have had zero time. So we will see. I hope that you guys, like I said, enjoyed this reaction video, thumbs up and all that. And I don't think I have anything else to do or say other than let's just begin with season three, episode one of Supergirl. <laughs> What is this? Oh yeah, they recast Kara's mom. She's having a dream? She's on Earth. If she was in Krypton, there will be like Red Sun. Moe now. Can I drink now? I thought we were gonna take a little bit longer to see him, even though he's like this uh Dream sequence, but whatever. Is that supposed to be Saturn? Her mom is like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> now that's supposed to be her mom. They recast the actress. Slap her. Make her come to sense. She's choosing? Slap her. I'm so sorry. 
sensitive and just like say I need my time bitch I don't know my job I'm buying cat coat wait what how is he buying cat coat is this is cat coat for sale what the hell I said I want to ship some corp but here I am chicken super corp did you know no but hey um I mean, I miss you. Oh. Everything okay? Because I keep trying to make time. I hate myself. I just been busy. Right, I hate um, myself. I do. I also just... What? 
I wanted to say I was sorry for the part I played in what happened to Monel. You uh, mean what? I'm here for you if you still want that. You did what you had to do. And that was Supergirl's call. Oh my god. I feel attacked. Oh my god. Going Should it be shipping well, them so hard? Crunch, sin? Come on, Kara. It's Lena. It's Lena. I love Lena. Wait, let's enjoy her while we have her. Let's enjoy her beautiful face while we have her. I love you, Meg. I love you, Florianna. Okay, continue. Only capable of doing her jobs, right? And we can forget about her showing up tonight. Or finishing her. I think patience is the least we can offer. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I don't, I don't care. Oh, my lesbians. I needed my lesbians. <laughs> I needed Sam. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I was trying to be an adult, you know, before in the intro when I was like, yes, they need to break up. They can't break up. It's Sam Birds. I hate this. Call me selfish, but I get it. Kids! It's time for that taste. We're so down on this wedding. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not down. She, oh, please. it's because of car. I just, I. She wants her more involved. Figure it out, let me know. Me. Oh my god. Go for your girl. Wait, shut up. Get out. Go for your girl. Why is he she going in the opposite direction? You were able direction? to trace the mark with his blood? Oh shit. So does James Olsen. He runs CACOM, and that job's important. I hate when people talk about themselves in the third person. Then maybe being a reporter isn't a good idea. What are, you, what are you saying? I'm saying I have important things to do, but not here at CACOM. Not as a reporter, not as Cara Devers. Cara, don't do this. I quit. Cara. Shit. You can rest assured I will talk to the President General Lee. And if anything yeah. happens General as a result Lee? of your overreach, you mark my words, you'll have your stars. Gerald Lane as in Luis? Whilst I appreciate Lucy? the amount of confidence Agent Shot, you heard words that might actually help. Or Dad. Words. Lena. 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 Twice in my office in as many days. These are cute. People are going to start talking. Fuck you. Oh Morgan, you have all of the charisma. I came because I have a proposition. So he's a new Maxwell Law. Fucking and hate you know this. I don't agree with your waterfall. I love your name, but people still aren't going to trust you. Oh, fuck. And that's really huh? a sentiment to reinforce once I have Catco's editorial in If room. we have a love interest love between these two. What they read. Using Catco to defame your enemies and promote your own agenda. I swear, because this will be the same Monel Cara thing again. Let's just take a look. Is there anywhere else on his premises? Look at her. Now, sadly, I think we are so in nothing anything he said. I love Cat. Oh, good. Working your way up to be a reporter. And it was a waste of time. Why? Why? Because your boyfriend left? Here's a, here's an advice. Life doesn't end when the guy you love, for whatever reason, is not with you. Okay? Life doesn't end. Your life is not measured by being in a relationship. I just... Cat grant that. Cat moved on, why can't I? Okay, this is done. I am done walking. Burglary, there's always a burglary. Oh my God, she's mad. I love when she's mad, but who's I not? But I slide. Pity party, who are yes. you right now? Yes, who? Cara Danvers doesn't quit. She quits the things that are Stop important. with the Cara Danvers, she's Cara Danvers. Can you help? Cara Danvers. Cara Danvers sucks right now. Supergirl is great. Supergirl saved the world. So if I could choose to be her, why would I ever choose to be the sad girl? You're the same person! What the fuck is she talking about? That girl, Alex. I know it hurts. No, no, you tell me what it feels like. Yes, talk! Please, just let, let me help. Let me help you get over him. Get over him. 
Yes, get over him! You don't know if he's ever going to get back into Earth. So yes, get over him! He didn't dump me. Yeah, I know, but he's not I going to be able to go away. back. And for all I know, he's... He probably did. What? No, I'm not, I'm like, no. I know he's coming back. Like, he's not dead. You're not letting yourself feel anything. Yes, that's the You're problem. just bottling it up inside, and you're making bad decisions. Yes. And I'm worried. Okay, well, what would you be doing? If the girl, woman you are about to marry was gone forever, what would you be doing? Well, she will cry, I guess. You'd be at the bar every night. I guess. You'd be a wreck at work. I guess. You'd be broken. I would. Yes, but eventually she will have to I get would. over it. Oh my god, she will have to get over it's it. okay. And this was a bad idea of me drinking during this episode. Bad idea. <laughs> Fuck. I know, see, my dog thinks the same. He's a damper shipper. Shut up! That's what humans do. Oh my god, car dampers. I'm better than Super that. Dumb, dumb. <gasps> Clark said it himself. I tried to be. But I'm not. So she's just oh, she's just ignoring. Think. Okay, wait, hold on. She, I'm never going to finish this episode. She's just ignoring her feelings, her sadness, whatever. She's focusing like her sadness and everything is put onto the fact that Car she blames Car Danvers and her human side for the pain she's feeling. So she'd rather forget about that and just be Supergirl because Supergirl doesn't have to feel anything. Okay. What? I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, I'll just laugh her, Alex. She deserves it. You can do anything about it, Alex. Poor Danvers. Just forget about is it. Is my favorite person. Look at your sister. She Look what you me did. Times in Supergirl ever could. So just think about that while you're trying to get rid of her. Do you love your sister? Do you? Oh my God, she's irritating me. And look at Lena. Look at oh my God. Okay, fine, Car. No sign of blood, sport. I tried to be Car Danvers for 15 years. Just be I'm you. Be Just be you. I'm not supposed to be human. Do you have a human heart now. It aches. The strongest person I know. Yeah, just let yourself feel, you girl. You saved me, remember? Cry. You taught me that my loss yeah. made me stronger. That was Cara Danvers. That's so yeah. It is the same person. So... Do you still dream about them? Your yeah, family? let yourself feel, girl. We should keep our eyes on the sky right now. She doesn't want herself... She doesn't allow herself to feel. Like, I get it, but still. Danvers, you on comms? about last night? Really? Uh, this is neither the time nor the place to talk about what I think you want to talk about. Do you not want to marry me? Oh no! Of what? course I do. What? I want to be your wife. I, I want to have a dog. I want to have the house. All of it. I just... I mean, it's time! Why? She wants her sister! Oh my god. Talk to me. So right I now? Just, you have to tell me what's going on. Oh my god! Because my dad won't be there. Oh, he can't come. Mm. And I think if you take a deep breath, you can find your way out of this. <laughs> you have so many people who love you. Just think about how they can make our day good. And tell me how I can help. Okay. I'm gonna cry right now. I can do that. I'm okay. gonna cry. Me too. Forever. You I'm gonna cry. cry. They're gonna end this. They're gonna end Sambers. They're gonna end this. I shouldn't have been drinking right now. Why am I drinking? Oh! Yeah, okay, shut up. Wait. Oh, sorry. Hey, Jack, ah! Rain! Why are you already love? Ah! Oh my god. I'm very sorry for rubbing into you. Totally okay. Thank you for apologizing. Oh. Can I go in one? I want to get up close. Just don't get so far ahead. I can't see. Oh. Okay. She's fine. Thanks. She's trying to enjoy the microsecond I had left before she was a teenager. Bye. Oh. Bye. Hey, what the fuck was that? Do I share them? Oh my god. And CEO of Lena Luther. Yes. Applause, bitches. 
Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, I know you all didn't come here to see me. So no, I did. I did. With the good stuff. I did. I just a few very brief words. Okay, baby. My fellow citizens of National City. I love you. The girl of steel. Thank you, baby. Oh, that is so, that is green screen, but I, I'll take there it. There you are. I yeah? am so honored, but... <laughs> ever since I came here, she has been an inspiration to me. I thought she was an ever since I came out. I was like, what? She's been a friend. Yes! Yeah, go! Oh, shit! <laughs> Lena has the worst luck with this shit. Oh, no! She got separated from her group! You have no heat signature. Oh, my God! There has got to be... Rain just got separated from her, from her kid. John, can you look at... Yoshi! The pressure regulator wasn't meant for high altitude, it was meant for low altitude. You're underwater. Oh, she's so smart. Supergirl, find that submarine. Yeah, find it! Go, Kara! Supergirl, whatever the hell you want to name yourself now. Do not dream of O'Neill right now. Oh, okay. Thank God. There you go. She can't breathe anymore. Why are they running like chickens? Why are they not out? What the hell? People are so stupid. Whoa! What the hell? She's not Oh my god, where is it? Where is it? Where is it again? Kill a child? Do not kill a child right now! Oh my god! Come on. Oh shit! Isn't she Kryptonian though? Like, why is this affecting her? Get your daughter! Get out! Yes. You're gonna kill him? What do you think you're gonna do? 
kill him? Oh my god! She's wild! Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna piss his pants, right? National City is my town. Yes. And now you've got all my attention. Bitch! 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 <laughs> Bitch! You can't just leave me here! She actually can! Can you find a way? this. What's under there? <gasps> Green spot! Right? Green spot, right? Really big wedding. Okay. The biggest, gayest wedding <laughs> in National City yes, has ever baby. seen. Yes, baby. Yes. And you I'm gonna it. need every like a father to me. She, he's gonna walk her? I... I Don't choose you, you to be my family. Yes. And I want, if you will, Aww. to have you walk me down the aisle. Aww. This is, this is so sweet. Oh my God, he's gonna cry. Don't cry. If you cry, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and everybody here is gonna know that we actually can cry. <laughs> oh my God. Supergirl. This is in one premiere. Um, I gotta say, I actually like this episode a lot um, because it kind of it it for me it kind of feels like they're trying to reveal rebuild parts of the story we used to love. It's like Kara for me represented you know, what was wrong in season two. How it was, you know, uh, her just thinking about Monel, just not caring about the family, and and that is what a lot of people, myself included, we have, comp have had complaints about of season two, how it stopped being about Kara and her humanity and, and her trying to balance everything and being Supergirl and, and you know and having those really heart-to-heart -heart conversations with Alex and Kara and all of that you know uh, so I feel like they kind of like they set up Kara in this episode and Supergirl Kara Supergirl in this episode to be that and then you know everybody just trying to to get to Kara to make her understand that yes she's allowed to suffer like I said, we can like a lot of, of fans can say how bad Monel was, whatever you want. Car was in love with Monel. Of course she needed time to grieve, to feel, to lash out, to do all the bad things that sometimes when you are in love, you do after a, a breakup. Which Car and Monel didn't necessarily break up, but like he had to be sent away. And I think Earth is not going to be it's not going to be safe for Monel for a really long time. So, Kara can can say, like, he didn't dumb me or things like that because, yes, and also she can say that she doesn't need to move on. Yes, she does. This is not healthy for her for her to be pushing away the people that, that, that loves her the most. Now, I will have love 
to see this resolve in two, maybe three episodes, to have Kara still pushing people away, you know, maybe in this episode a little less than what she was showing, but I hate when they resolve things in one episode. It just seems really, un like, it seems unrealistic, to, in my opinion. So, having, uh, um... Having Kara dealing with this and dealing with the fact that she... I understand why she didn't want to be Kara Danvers. It wasn't like, like really... I was worried about that because on the trailer it kind of looks like she was done with being Kara Danvers. Like the entire season was going to be her. Just da like I'm down... I forget about Kara Danvers. I'm going to be Supergirl. It doesn't look like she's going to be that uh, for, for much longer. It looks like she's going to start healing from everything. Um, I like the fact that she has these little little dream sequences. Muna scared the hell out of me when he was like, wake up, and I was like, shut up. So it, I was kind of scared by that. Uh, but I scare easily. So, so uh, when I was like, I, I understand, like I said, I understand all that. And it was sad. It was sad to see Kara suffer from everything that is happening. Yes, it, it like Caramel, wasn't a healthy relationship. Monel, by the end, kind of had some progress, but not so much. Uh, some people are being, like, dealing with the fact that why Kara is just, like, so upset about losing Monel when she lost her entire world and all that. But Kara, when she lost her entire world, she was 13. Maybe she has had a long time to recover from that. She also was really sad and upset when she was a child when she first moved in. She was sad and all that, and we have seen that on the flashback. So of course we needed her. We needed time to see her dealing with the fact that Monel is gone. Like I said, we might not like that she was in love with the guy. We might not like the relationship wasn't as healthy as we wanted him, as we wanted it to be. I hope by the time Monel comes back, they like the writers stop making him as unlikable as he was. Like making him make the same. Like I hope they don't write him like that. You know, I hope that when he comes back, he is worthy of being with the main character, with the lead character, with the superhero on this show, because Monel represented everything that back in season one, Supergirl was against. So that was for me my, my problem with Monel. I hope that when he comes back, because come on, he's coming back. When he comes back, I hope, you know, that he's better, you know, that he, you can write his uh, past again. We all know he used to own slave. We all know he made uh, a really sexist comments and that he didn't respect Kara's decisions and all that. Hope that when he comes back, he's still the same maybe funny guy, you know, light-headed and like all that, but I hope that he is worthy of the main character, you know. I hope that. I hope that they do write him better than, than what they wrote him back in season two. So, yeah, I mean, the episode was good. I hope we got to see Kara in a little bit more of a dark, of a real darker side, not just her just being, you know, just edgy and all that. We also have to understand it's been six months, so she has had, she's, she needed to break down, completely break down, and be in the bottom, you know, uh, to start picking herself up. So I think that she hit rock bottom in this episode, and now it's time for her to pick herself up, up again, you know? And I hope that we see that, I hope that we, we I'm not gonna lie, like back season one and at the beginning of season two, I was here for Supergirl, I had, like, I connected a lot with Supergirl and the message the show gave. Season 2 uh, wasn't that good for Kara. I don't think that I needed to learn anything from the things that she did back in Season 2. Let's hope that Season 3 is a better season, that she is better, and that, um, you know, that she represents hope again, and, and that she is the feminist that we used to like back in Season 1. 
Uh, so they t they have time to they have this entire season to rebuild her and to make the character uh, once again my favorite on the show. Um, so yeah, that is, that will be my hopes. I don't know, like with the Monel and all that. Let's see if next episode. I hope this is not all all happy and and you know. I hope that she's still you know is grieving, but she's like okay, yes, I miss Monel, but. I have friends, I have family, I, I want to come back. It was a really stupid thing of me quitting. If James wasn't my boss, maybe I wouldn't have a job. Like, well, now Lena is the boss and all that. Um, so, yeah. Now we have... Uh, what's her name? This dude, I don't know his name. Uh, the one that was talking to Lena that was going to buy Catco. I love the fact that it was Lena, the one who bought Catco. I love that, I love that. And I love that she was just impulsive enough to do it, and I, I hope that it pays off. And now she owns Catco, even though she doesn't know anything about how to run Catco, she's going to be there as well. I, for no reason, want Lena to be with this new guy, who I feel is the new Maxwell Lord. Like, it feels like a combination of Maxwell Lord and Monel in his like the first episode we met him when he was like the worst. I think he's a combination of that. That's not good, okay? So I hope that, yes, they keep him as the villain. They keep him as the bad guy on the season. And uh, I hope that Lena doesn't get anywhere close to him. And I don't want to see Lena falling in love with this insanity of a person he is. I hope not. I hope that Lena's stronger and, and mature enough to not fall for this stupid guy because this is the CW. So the CW, they don't do, they do this shit. So I don't like that. Um, but yeah, it, like the conversations between Lena and this dude, it made me remember back with Alex and Ma Maxwell. I don't like it. I don't, I gotta be honest, I don't like it. Um, but yeah, also, I said on my reaction that I don't like Lena and James together. I don't want them together either. Why? It's just that it feels freaking forced. James, the Guardian storyline, was the worst storyline, and that is saying a lot, from Supergirl Season 2, okay? And Lena is the fan favorite. You know, Lena had an amazing storyline. So you're combining the worst storyline the worst character that you wrote in season two with the fan favorite. You're forcing them to be together in order to do what? To make us like James again? I mean, it's not that I hate James, you know, but he was irrelevant to the story. So in order for them to make him relevant again, he's going to start dating Lena? For fuck's sake, do, do not do that. Honestly, I don't, I don't... I, I didn't like the interactions. I didn't. I don't want Lena and James together for that reason, okay? Anyways, Lena, amazing, my girl. She's like, she owns my heart. I love her. She did everything great in this episode. She was amazing. Uh, I don't know what else can I say. I'm in love with her. I love her. She's perfect in every sense of the word. Perfect. She's perfect. Uh, she doesn't take crap from anyone. She needs to stop doing press conferences, though. Every time she does one of these shits, it gets attacked. She needs to stop, okay? For the sake of national city, she needs to stop with this press conference on the... You know, she needs to stop. She needs to stop. Uh, I think that the first episode, or one of the few first episodes when Superman was there, she did a press conference, got, like, explosions and all that shit, uh, and Metallo and all, yeah. So, no more, please. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I, I don't know, I, I think that she was amazing in everything she did. Um, but yeah, I like that. All the interactions with Lena. Then we have Sambers, and that's the, only, the last thing I'm going to talk about. We have Sambers, who we know, like I said in the first few minutes of this, of this video, that we know that Florian is going, we know that Sambers is ending, there's possible. I don't know if it's going to end after the wedding, if there's going to be a wedding. I don't want to get myself too excited about that, because I know where it's going. I know it's ending, you know, so... I just hate the fact that... 
they don't they it, it feel uh, this is what I feel I, they don't take the characters and the actors who play the lesbian characters or the gay characters uh, on TV shows they don't take them serious they don't make the effort to lock them into a contract that will allow us to have a entire storyline with them in this story you know we fell in love with Sambers I fell in love with Sambers and now I have to say goodbye to them it's going to be cruel every interaction that they have I know what's coming I know she's going there, there's nothing we can do to stop that you know she is going she's going away like it's sad yes do we need to fight for better I, don't, I honestly right now I don't know what I will do because She's going away. She's, she, she already has a, a, a special guest star contract, whatever the fuck that means, you know. And her storyline, it's going to end sooner rather than later. I don't know, episode 5, 6, 7, I don't know. But it's going to end. We're not going to end the season with Maggie and Alex together. They are, they're probably not even going to get married. So I don't want to get excited. And it sucks because Samber's... It's one of the few good things that season two had, in my opinion, you know. Uh, you guys can have another opinion if you're caramel shippers, which you have every right to ship them. You know, uh, but in my opinion, they were one of the good things on season two. And just see them go in, in all this, it's like, why will you make us fall in love with, with this ship and then just break them up? It's just... I don't know, but I guess, you know, this is like, that's how life works, you know, sometimes that first love is not the one you end up with for the rest of your life, it's sad, yes, it sucks for us, yes, but it's reality, you know, and sadly she's not going to be there. Then the 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 conversation between Alex and, and Rain, her name's Sam, right? I don't know, I could keep calling her Rain. Uh, they're going to be like, 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 buddy buddies? Like, something gonna... I, I don't know, I don't know. I will, like, will I ship it? I probably will. Like, I am in need of lesbians, because I've been watching uh, The Vampire Diaries. I just started watching Teen Wolf. They're really, really straight shows, so... So I need lesbians and yeah, I mean, I will ship everyone with everyone and everybody is Everyone Can ship whoever the fuck they want to ship. I stand by that uh, So yeah, anyways, I don't think I have anything else to say other than that. I love the episode I hope that this season does better and if you guys want me to react to the promo Let me know in the comment section down below and I will do that in a separate video. I, I don't, I'm not gonna do it in this video. So, I don't know how many of you will actually get to this point. If you did, just, you know, I don't know, write, um, I don't know. You know what? Use the rainbow as emoji. Just, if you're gonna leave a comment, leave the comment, but after you just make another comment and just put the rainbow emoji. Let's see how many people got onto this point, okay? Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, subscribe for more. I will continue doing reaction videos for Supergirl the entire season three. So, yeah, thank you so much, guys, for being here. Uh, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time for another reaction video for Supergirl. Mwah! Bye, guys.